Okay, I'm going to show you how to make um, columns on a WordPress page using the Visual Composer plugin. So, this is a plugin that a lot of the websites we build now will have by default, and um, and we can usually add it on if not. So, this if this um, when you've made a page, you'll have this potentially have this blue button here which says Visual Composer. And if I click on that, it's going to give us some options. And the first one I want to do is to add a row. And keep in mind, so websites are generally made of rows and columns and, and then elements within those rows and columns. So if I add a row, you can see I've got these icons here which let me choose how many columns I'm going to have. So I might have two columns or of half each or two-thirds, one-thirds or three-thirds columns or four-quarters columns and so on and if there's a column type I don't have I can put a column within a column as well so I can add a half column and then put uh, like a, a, another row in there which has say four columns so that I get that multi column layout so that's the the page structure what um, what we do from here is we want to decide okay let's put in uh, so we're gonna have we'll have a two-thirds one-thirds layout and I want to put uh, text in here so if I click on the plus I can choose text block and this is going to give me a normal um, text editor to type into so we can put in whatever wording we want to put in here and we can do some basic like a usual sort of editing so we can you know format it we can put a link in whatever it is we want to do and then we save that and you'll see that it embeds that in that column there now if I want to put a picture in beside it I can click on that choose single image and I could give it a title like example picture and I could upload a picture if I wanted to or I can pick one from the media library so I'm just going to pick one just to keep things simple set image I could specify the exact image I'll just press on save and the, the size of the image you, you may want to edit that before you upload it so it just depends on um, uh, whether you're comfortable with Photoshop I suppose and things like that so if we preview this page and you'll see that I've got it's actually on our page which has the column on the side then we've got two-thirds of the remaining width which is the page text and then one-third of that which which is the page that picture now so let's say because we're using with this is a, a Woo themes page so I can come down here and choose layout of just a, a full width without that column and if I click on um, if I click publish and then I'll view the page and you'll see now I've got rid of that side column my pictures there that's where the text is and that's the page layout so you can have additional rows so if I wanted to have another row under that that had um, four quarters then I could put that in there and then I could put four single pictures in there so I can come into here I'll choose I might try and choose four images that are sort of similar shaped or similar sizes save that another single image And what you're doing is we're, we're building up um, sort of status like rows of the web page so we're creating columns for the content within the rows and the beauty of this is that we don't have to code a template for this in WordPress so if you'd asked me to do this a few years ago 
we would have had to code a specific page template to suit this layout. Now if I click preview, and you should find that the extra um, images are there below. Yep, so there they are. And that's how simple it can be to do a layout with these different sections in it. And something else interesting we can do is we could, if this is, if we're going to use this a few times, we can save that as a template. So we can choose save page as a template. And now any other time we want to use that exact layout on a page, we can just go to templates and click on the name of it and insert it into the page. So I won't go into too much more detail with this particular video. I just want to give you a, a taste of how the Visual Composer um, is different to the way that the standard WordPress editing page works and the sort of power that it gives us in terms of making it easy for either us or you to have these multi-column, multi-row sort of layouts.